the most interesting would be when we'd go back to the big spring and we'd get on a tree limb and swing back and forth and we cut our nasals on the tree and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I guess they're still there if the trees are still there. Well, do you remember when the tree limb broke and I fell down on the pile of rocks? That's where you got them things on your back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everything. But, uh, no, living on a farm, you done so many different things. I've done everything from slop hogs to feed cows to uh, help uh, with the uh, farm work and as a hard hand and everything else. Help saw wood with a, a, pro, with a cross cut saw and, <laughs> and that's where we got our heat was uh, by sawing up the wood. They'd pile the wood up in a pile outside of the, the wood house and then we would take and come home from school and take a cross cut saw and saw up the wood and because my dad didn't have time to do that and farm too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I did the milking and, and uh, helping uh, feed the cows and everything and I ended up uh, uh, living on the farm for about uh, 28 years before then we moved to a smaller farm and my dad retired because he had heart trouble so bad. Mm -hmm. and uh, But uh, no, we just uh, lived like country people and everything. And we'd come to town, we didn't have any car, we'd walk a mile and a half to town and, yeah. and do what we was going to do and come to town on Saturday night and walk around the, uh, around the square and walk around till about 11 or 11.30, 12 o'clock. Then we'd walk back home, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, then uh, we'd stop on the way home at a little restaurant and get us an egg sandwich with a slice of tomato on it and a bottle of orange crush, and we didn't think well, anything of walking anywhere. Yeah. We walked everywhere. Yeah. But uh, you got to have exercise so that. Uh, we never was sick or anything, unless we had a flu or something like that. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have a favorite pet? A what? Did you ever have a favorite pet? A pet, an animal that you were a, a very affectionate? Well, I had yeah. a horse that I rode all the time. Okay. What was the horse's name? It didn't have any. Really? Okay. <laughs> it was just my horse. Okay. I, thought, I thought it was Babe. Well, we had the pony, the little brat pony, and its name was Babe. <laughs> and it uh, threw me off on my head and knocked oh me out for a while. Oh my goodness. Because <clears throat> the older kids, they could ride it, but my dad told them not to turn me loose on it because it threw me off. <laughs> he went to town and it threw me off. I told him I could ride it, and I just when I got on it, why? It bucked me off, and it knocked me out. And when I come to, I was up at the house uh, in a chair, and he had got some stick candy and give me a big stick of candy, so everything was all right then. <laughs> but uh, oh, we had done a lot of things. Uh, uh, we was back there in the olden days and everything. And, uh, Name off your sisters again. Uh, name off your sisters again. Well, I had five sisters. Uh, uh, we had uh, the oldest one was Harriet, and she married a Shastine, and we called her Hattie. And she had uh, three boys and a girl. And then the next one, uh, her name was Elizabeth, but she didn't like it, so she called herself Mary Elizabeth. But we called her Sis. And she had two girls and a boy. And then the, the next one was Lucille, and we called her Lucy, but she never married or anything. She worked in factories and things like that. 
and uh, then the next one was Irene and we called her Pete one of our neighbor uh, guys he seen her out with a pair of old-fashioned knickerbockers and, <laughs> and uh, uh, an old floppy hat and he called her Pete and so she always went by the name of Pete and then my sister next to me uh, well her name was Ruby uh, Bernice and so we called her Rub and then I was the youngest one and they called me Mott and my, but my name was Martha. Right. And uh, so, uh, but I was only three when my mother died, and I, I don't ever remember seeing her or anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said anybody that's got a mother ought to put her on a pedestal and <laughs> really uh, taken, uh, take good care of her. I said if you're raised without a mother. And I didn't know anything about a mother. Nobody ever mentioned my mother or anything until I went to school and other kids had their mothers come. Well, my oldest sister would come to school to visit, mm -hmm. but nobody said anything about a mother, so I never knowed anything about my mother. What were Christmases like at your house? What was what? What were Christmases like? What was Christmas oh, like at your house? Oh, we put up a Christmas tree and we'd always have a lot of, of candy and nuts and everything like that. And oranges and bananas and stuff. We always had a lot of fruit and stuff. And then uh, we'd put up this Christmas tree and on Christmas morning uh, we thought Santa Claus come. Mm -hmm. But the two older girls uh, Irene and and Ruby, they ain't the oldest one. They they got up and peeped one night at uh, <laughs> about midnight, and they said they heard a noise and they got up and peeped and they said and my oldest sister was putting the presents <laughs> around the tree, oh. but they didn't tell me. Uh, well, they said Santa Claus put them there. Okay. <laughs> And for years, I didn't know there was any Santa Claus or anything. Patty made a lot of cookies and candy at Christmas. Oh, yes, and then my next to the oldest sister, she always made a lot of fancy fondant and all kinds of candy. Yeah, they were good. She was a good cook. Did you cut your tree off of your where you lived, off your property? Yeah. Okay. We'd go out in the fence row. We'd find one in the summertime, and pop one and cut it down and then uh, we'd go uh, about a week before Christmas and we'd get it and then he'd put a block on it. We didn't have one of them things you put them in and put the water in. Right. Uh, he'd get to saw it off and put the block on it and of course we had just stoves and it wasn't too hot in the house and we would put it up and it'd stay good till about New Year's okay, and everything. Okay. What but, kind of ornaments? Did you make ornaments to put on it? No, we no, bought some. You bought some? Uh, okay. And them little shiny balls mm -hmm. and different things. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'd make these chains like yeah. they made in school. Right. Yeah. And we'd hang them across yeah. from corner to corner in the mm -hmm. house, in the living room and things like that. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it was always interesting, and we couldn't wait till Christmas. Now Christmas don't mean anything. Aww. But me and her, we took and, and had our last <laughs> Christmas down the farm before the tornado, and we had everybody come to uh, in the family with their kids, and we, we bought presents for everyone. Mm -hmm. and, and I said that'd be our last Christmas there, and sure enough, it was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know then we was going to have a tornado and take everything, but yeah. it did. How many tornadoes have you lived through? Two. Two. You've seen actually seen. Well, I wasn't at home. I was working. When okay, so you didn't actually see one. them. But the last one was in Monticello, and we were right in between the living room and the kitchen door. It. Forrest was going to walk right into it, 
And I put my arm around him, held him against the door facing, and told him to stand still, that it wouldn't be but a minute it would be gone. Yeah. Well, it was, but a little piece of glass come from somewhere and cut him right in front of his left ear, and he almost bled to death oh my goodness. and everything because we couldn't get to, we didn't know where there's even a doctor or a hospital or anything. Right. But uh, we finally got it all put back and everything, and then we come back down here. I don't know why we come back, but we did. Mm -hmm. uh, I just as soon stayed there, but he wanted to come back down here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, I've got used to it now. I've been by myself so long, I couldn't, I don't think I could live with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I, when I get older and I get to the place that I can't take care of myself, I don't want to live with anybody. I'll just go to a nursing home or something. Mm -hmm. That's the awfulest thing to do is to move in with somebody or, or have somebody move in with you because you can't get along when you get older. Mm -hmm. You're better off to just go to nurse at home and be done with it. Mm -hmm. But I've done pretty good. I've had quite a few things done and everything, but I, I get along. I go outside every day for sometimes three hours, sometimes a little longer wow. and work out. But I can't do a lot of things I used to do. Mm -hmm. I had the flu last year about all winter, and it just it done me in pretty much. I'm getting better than I was because I would fall when I walked backwards, but I'm getting over that a little bit because I watch it awful close. But I don't do a lot of mowing, climbing, or anything. I just hire somebody to do it and be done with it. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I love people and I love company. <laughs> but yep. uh, I just, uh, I don't like to go a lot of places. I like to go to the store and maybe run on to somebody I haven't seen for a long time or anything. But I don't know people because the older ones are gone and the younger ones come while I was gone 20 years. So I, do, I don't know people mm -hmm. and anything. But I like to ask them who they are and where they come from and where they're going. Mm -hmm. I'm not nosy, I just like people yeah. <laughs> and everything. Yeah.